In just a few weeks, we'll be celebrating the birthday of the church, the literal birth of the church that we often call Pentecost. Pentecost was a great celebration of an outpouring of the Spirit of God, but it began some weeks earlier when Jesus met with his disciples for the last time before he ascended into heaven. And Jesus said to his disciples, I want you to go down to Jerusalem. I want you to get in a prayer meeting. I want you to wait until you're filled with the Spirit of God because when the Holy Spirit comes upon you, you will receive power and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the outermost parts of the earth. It was some weeks later that gathered in that upper room in Jerusalem, the power of God came on those disciples as the Holy Spirit came in a rushing wind and blew through that place and the church of Jesus Christ was born. I think it's really significant how all of this took place because it points out to us that mission is the reason the church exists. God gave birth to the church so that it would join Jesus in his mission. Yes, worship is important. Yes, prayer is important. Jesus asked them to go get in a prayer meeting and worship but that was to afford the opportunity for his people to be empowered from on high to get on the mission. You know, many don't realize that Pentecost was actually a holiday celebrated in Israel. Pentecost was the festival of weeks. This was a harvest celebration, a time to celebrate God's goodness in providing the harvest and bringing it in and to return a portion of that harvest to God in a massive celebration. It couldn't have been lost on those early disciples that Jesus, before his death on the cross, had looked around at the people in need of a savior and said, the harvest is plentiful. It's the workers who are few. So pray to the Lord of the harvest that he will send workers. And later, as those disciples gathered in that upper room and prayed and asked God to send workers for the harvest, the Holy Spirit came upon them just as Jesus said, and in power they went forth and turned the whole world upside down. You know, it's as true today as it was in the days of Jesus. Mission is the reason the church exists. God is not pouring out his power upon us just to do signs and wonders. Some years ago, a woman came to me excited. She said, oh my goodness, pastor, I've discovered that there's power in the blood of Jesus. I said, what are you talking about? And she said, oh my goodness, I needed some new shoes. I went rushing over to the mall to get some new shoes. And when I got over there, the parking lot was so full, I thought I'm never gonna find a parking space. But I prayed and don't you know, just as I got to the front of the shoe store, a car pulled out and I pulled right in. She said, I'm telling you, pastor, there's power in the blood of Jesus. And I just wanted to cry, surely, she did not believe that Jesus came and taught and then suffered and died on the cross and rose again to new life and promised us that he would send us the power source of the Holy Spirit only so that she could have a parking space at the mall. The truth is the power is for the mission. The church is for the mission. We've been called to join Jesus in his mission because the harvest is plentiful. And even as we celebrate that harvest, the need is great for workers to go out and bring that harvest in. God provides the power, we provide the mission. I'm so excited to be a part of TMS Global as we continue to bring men and women together to join Jesus in that mission, especially amongst the least reached peoples of the world. And as we celebrate the birthday of the church and the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost, I hope you'll commit yourself anew and afresh to joining us in that mission. Thank you for your ongoing love and encouragement and support of TMS Global. Happy Pentecost and God bless you. Thank you.